Season 10 is coming to an end, so I've got to grind some more Hall of Masters games, and I have one of the closest matches in my entire life here, so hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, our next match, I mean first match of the video, what am I saying, is against Mr. Paper. We're on the map Garden Day, I'm bringing the strategy of Druid, Sub, and Farm. Getting a little sweaty with it, you know, getting a little sweaty out in here. Start with my Druid right here. Druid Reach, Heart of Vengeance. Looks like my opponent is starting with their Dart Monkey. Okay, um, what hero did they bring? I think they brought Ocean Open. So Ocean Open with Dart Monkey is definitely um very interesting. I am curious as to what they bring. I'm curious as to what they bring because you don't really see Ocean Open and Dart Monkey combined too often. And I'm pretty sure they did bring Ocean Open if I'm remembering correctly from the um, lobby. So we'll have to wait and see what their um other towers are here. Send them some greens here. Perfect. Let's put our Open on last just so I can leak some of these balloons. Perfect. Did you need to leak about what? 37 more lives to get my max street buff. If he actually doesn't send me space greens, I don't need to get hard thorns up, and I should be able to go for a farm up farm this round then. If they don't send me space greens, I'll be able to greed for an early farm. So thank you for not sending me space greens, good sir. Get my farm up. Nice. Take that. Take that greed opportunity. Put this back on first. That should be enough leaks for my max druid buff. Yeah, we're good there. Is this defending blues? Can I go for a farm upgrade again? Am I going to be like super greedy here? I think I am. Be super duper greedy. I still don't have a hard thorns up. He doesn't send me any space deco. And space deco is what forces the upgrades here. That will get hard thorns. Yeah, they do have ocean open. Okay. So what do we think the strategy is then? They've got to have like ninja or super monkey or one of those magic towers that ocean open's built for. You know what I mean? So... I don't really know what their strategy would be with Dart on this map too with it. Dart sub super well, like oh bring an ocean open just makes doesn't really make much sense here if you don't have ninja elk. At least in my opinion. My book, I don't know why do you bring ocean open, but we'll just have to wait and find out. I'm guessing they're gonna save up for a juggernaut for round five. Yep, there's their jug. Alright. Fair enough. I'm gonna have to get lightning here. And then we can start saving up for this plantation. Keep throwing down those brambles in the back. Now the good thing about having an eco strategy for them is Garden does tend to get really stalled rounds. So they'll be able to get sold eco here. Off the stallage of rounds. So I guess that's one thing they have going for them. But I'm still just still trying to put them on their strategy. I can't figure out what it is, bro. I really can't think of it. What do they have? What, what does he's got going on today, ladies and gentlemen? One more eco boost and I'll go get my um plantation up. Perfect. Got that plant up. Nice. Keeps in these space yellows until I get the valuable bananas. There isn't really thing I can send them at the moment as well. Their juggernaut's gonna defend pretty much any rush, so we just gotta kinda let them be. With the juggy there. With the juggy. They're sending me yellows. Question is, can they afford enough yellows to force defense? Because I saw them sitting grouped greens the entire time. So they probably don't have that much money to send a ton of yellows. And look at that. Yep, they already stopped. All right. So they did not force my, um, did not force my Druid of Wrath there. I knew they wouldn't have that much money to send yellows. Just because most of the time, eco players will send spaced blocks on round six. But he sent grouped greens the entire time. So he didn't have as much money saved up to send uh, grouped yellows at me. Do I greed for the double plant? I haven't gotten a double plan in a long time on Garden, boys. That used to be the route, you know. On Garden with Druid Subfarm, you used to almost always get double plan, but they've nerfed the strategy quite a bit since. So, oh, it's probably... They do have Ninja, okay. Also, I did I did go for the double plant. So it's it's Dart, Ninja, Alchemist then, right? Gotta be Dart, Ninja, Alchemist. Alright, we'll see how this goes. That is very interesting. Very, very interesting strategy. We've got our double plant now, though, so we're totally vibing on that front. We've got our farm right here. Uh, submarine right here. There's their alchemist. All right. Get my reactor up. The reactor is going to anti-stall rounds as well, which is good for us. We do want to get these rounds short. Now, there's two ways we could play this. I think we could definitely outlake game them with Druid Sub Farm here, just because there's no way they're going to defend a BAD with their strategy on this map. But um, we could also be a little bit aggressive. It just depends how much defense they go for. Right now, they actually have quite a bit of defense up. 
They've got um their Alk buff, their Jitsu, and a Juggernaut up. So I'm not sure if it's really worth to try to center rush right now. They will struggle a lot to like ZMG though. ZMG and fortified ZMG are gonna be like a really tough to fend with their strategy. So we might plan on doing one of those at them. But until then we might just kind of um get my money up and get my eco up. Because they have quite a bit of defense already right now. A juggernaut, Alk buff, and a jitsu is pretty strong. Pretty strong. I could probably get through it if I sent really big rushes and force a boost and then re-rush and maybe kill them, but it's honestly not worth here to do it. It's not worth. We have, might actually have an eco lead on them, to be honest, at this point, because we have, we're making so much money from my farm, so I could just send faster eco than them. Okay. Um, they are sending me a rush. We are good there. I honestly could have boosted against that too, and you could say, Ryan, even if you if you boosted against that, wouldn't you die around 16 all out? No, when you, when I have double plant here, and they have an eco strategy, they're not going to be able to send me a giant round 16 all out, so I'll be able to afford enough defense to defend however many ceramics they would have sent me. So it might have been a little bit risky not boosting that, because the guy looked close, but um, we were fine at the end of the day. We are fine at the end of the day there. All right, we'll continue equal until I 2k. Do I hit 2k eco? Uh, do I send them a Moab? I might send them a fortified Moab. Where's even a fortified Moab even worth? Hmm. Fortified BFB is probably worth. Maybe not fortified Moab. Fortified BFB is probably worth though. We're almost at 2k eco. There's 2k. All right, stop right there. Next round, I should be able to get some Druid leaks in as well to get a um a little bit of a Super Storm buff going. So we'll try to leak some AI on this round. If he lets me. There's enemy camos, but the camos came in too late. Yep, look at that. Got my druid up about 30 lives, I think. Yep, 30 life count. 30 life buff right there. We'll take it. We'll take that. Keep farming. My farms are actually kind of amazing right now. I'm not going to lie. We're in a really good... That's Dude, that's the power of the double plant. Like, round 9 or round 8. You, you get such crazy farms. And you can greed like that against eco strategy. If, it, if I was against a farm strategy, there's no way I'm getting a greed like that. But against eco strategies, you can kind of do it sometimes. Right. I'm going to greed really hard here. Watch this, watch this, watch this. He's sending me a fortified BFB. We should be fine against this. I'll probably boost against it to be honest, just because I've got boost to burn. So I'd rather boost against it and keep my trees somewhat full. We'll boost. Send him a fortified ZMG here. What are they sending me here? I can't even tell how many BFBs that is just because of their skins they got on them. Can't really tell how big that rush is. And if it's much of a threat. I think we'll be fine with my current defense, but... I did not mean to get bowl lightning on this one. We're good. All right. How are they doing against their fortified ZMG? We have stopped their eco entirely. You see that? They are not ecoing right now, which is fantastic for us. We have brought a stoppage to their eco. All right, looks like they are defending it though. Wait. Nope, they're dead. All right, yeah, dude, fortified ZMGs are tougher than Jalk. I'll catch you on next one.
Alright guys, our next match of the video is against Plus, and we are on the map of Castle Ruins here. With the strategy Ninja Alchem Engineer, so it should be a fun one. Start with my alchemy right here. Nice. Get larger potions on this bad boy, just so then we're clearing these balloons out pretty well. And um, looks like my opponent's starting with their Dartling in an anti-stall position. Okay, it's going to be interesting. They are full anti-stall on this, which is going to be difficult for me here. I will not get my Ocean Open on round one with this anti-stall, so we just kind of got to bite that bullet. There's no way I'm going to Ocean Open round one. We'll get Ocean Open up round two. There was just no ifs, ands, or buts about that. I don't think it would have been possible to get Ocean Open round one there. Get my Ocean Open down right here. Perfect. I don't really know if this is a spot I'm supposed to put place it, but because I don't really use Ninja Elk on this map too much, but it seems like an okay spot. We'll get my Ninja down right here. I have to send some space to Eco here just to defend his balloons because they are anti slowing so hard. So that is what we are currently doing. We've got to send some space to Eco at him. That's just how it, how the rain blows or whatever. The wind blows. Oh, did I just say rain blows? That's how the wind blows. Let's get uh, Sharp Shurikens on this. My ninja does not have a Pierce buff, I just realized, because my Ocean Oven is behind on leveling. It's alright, though. We should be fine now. Now my ninja's got the Pierce buff. We should be chilling. We should be chilling. Theoretically. We are. Okay, they got their DJ Ben down. So they got DJ Ben, they got Dartling. I'm guessing they got Dartling farm ninja then with DJ Ben. Their farms are going to be horrendous here, because they are anti stalling super hard. And Dartling's been nerfed pretty heavily, so we gotta go for all these old Dartling upgrades, but... My eco will be horrendous as well, so this will be an interesting one. Will be an interesting one. Send him some greens here. I think I need um stronger acid against these balloons. They got stronger acid up. I feel like we'll be fine against white balloons now with stronger acid. Yeah, it appears we're doing deep better against them now. All right. They got their first farm down on round five. Okay, well done. Well done. They're farming. They're farming. Space blocks. My eco is absolutely terrible, but we're vibing. It is what it is, chat. Oh, this ocean open spot's terrible. It's anti-stalling. I just realized that. Like I said, it doesn't really. It's not anti-stalling full. It's not that bad, but yeah, I don't want to be anti-stalling here. Hmm. Alright, they, they went for a second Dartling. Fair enough. Look, they have to go for upgrades on it as well. There's just, like, no greed with Dartling anymore. They're, they got a nice anti stall going, but their greed is so little. And they're still getting overrun with that. They've got very little greed there. They only have one farm down. It's not even a greater production. And now they got greater production. But that's pretty much all the farms they'll probably get. I guess they're going to go... They'll probably get another one down. Alright, one income boost. So we'll get this Berserker Brew up. See if they send me Zebras. My eco is honestly not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm still almost at 750 right now. My eco isn't as bad as I thought it would be here. I thought my eco would be absolutely horrendous. I mean, it is pretty bad, but it's not terrible, terrible. You know what I mean? Like, it's had better days. I've had worse days. We're good. Calculated. They have zero farms. This is what I'm talking about, guys. <laughs> Look at where are their farms, bro? Is they have their farm player and they have zero farms. That's that's startling anti stall for you. And my ocean open is anti stalling as well. Ocean open, you're being no help right now. All right, at this point, um, we start saving up for my balloon trap because uh, he's actually rushing me. We'll go for that. We should be fine against that. Okay. Since he forced that, we'll go for the balloon trap for round 17. We'll wait a little bit on the balloon trap then. There should, they shouldn't really be able to rush me too hard to do anything. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. That won't do anything there. And I can't really rush them either just because they have boost. They have two dartlings down. They have DJ Ben ability ready. 
I wouldn't be able to afford to rush them and be able to do stuff with it. So we kind of just got to let them be. Now, where do I place my engineer? Probably like right here. Wait. Right here is a fine spot, I guess. Perfect. Get that balloon shop rule in here in a second. Round 17 is when the AI really starts to ramp up, so I'll be making some solid balloon shop money, which will be really nice. Wait, no, it targets right there. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. Um, gotta get this larger service area than on this to switch to targeting. I didn't think it would do that. We'll boost this. Oh, uh, they're just dead. All right. Well, I guess I'll catch y'all in the third and final match. I don't know if they thought that was going to kill me when I had a boost ready. All right, guys. Last match of the video is on the map. Inflection with the strategy Dartling, Ice, and Boat. So let's freaking get it. We'll start with my Dartling down here. Perfect. Start with the Tax Shooter. All right. So I'm guessing it's Tax Sub Farm from them is my prediction. Well, actually, they have Quincy. Normally, Tax Sub Farm brings Pat. So could be something different. Could be something different. I'm not exactly sure yet we'll have to wait and see we'll have to wait and see what they're bringing but against most talk strategies got a better late game but they can defend some early game rushes they'll probably just pressure me really hard early game and we'll have to defend some stuff so we'll see how this game goes we'll place my farm let's place my balloon bot um one income boost and i can get my nope one more income boost i miscalculated i definitely over ecoed i shouldn't shouldn't be waiting this long to get my pot down I 100% over echoed that. And we pay for it a little bit with these leaks. Honestly, not that bad on the life count, though. I've had worse. I've had worse days. I'll be honest with you. I have had worse days. The life count here. Fine, we're fine. A little bit of dartling targeting. Put this on strong. Longer range. Increased pierce. We're chilling. We're chilling, chat. Don't worry about the life count. It's merely a number. It is merely a number. They're laughing at me now. Okay, we'll see who's laughing at the end of the game, buddy. You, you want to get toxic with me, homie? You want to laugh at me now? We'll see who's laughing at the end. All right. I don't care about my life count, homie. Actually, I do care a little bit. We'll boost. I do care just a little bit. No way I can't afford this as well. That is unfortunate. This is probably the worst start I've ever had with the strategy. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Not how you're supposed to play the strategy. This is not how you're supposed to play the strategy one bit. This has been a rough game. But that doesn't mean we're going to lose necessarily. It doesn't mean we're going to lose. It's just been a really rough start. I basically kind of messed up my start ever since I didn't get my pat on the income boost I was meant to get it. That made me leak more than I'm was supposed to and then I had to get the extra defense and it's just it was just a downward spiral from that point ladies and gentlemen it was a downward spiral from that point of the match but now we're kind of back on our feet a little bit preparing to get up our second merchant minimum probably around seven we'll get it most likely yeah I still think it's tax sub farm I don't really know I guess it could be wizard it could be wizard that's really the only other option they got they have to have a decamo, and it, mortar wouldn't make sense here on this map as well. Mortar wouldn't make sense. Uh, we're good against that. Nice try, nice try. We're good against that. Not even close. Not even close. Not worried for a second, ladies and gentlemen. Bowls of steel from our Mahalik. It Really, I'm not worried at all. This game's going perfectly, dude. I couldn't imagine a better way this game would go. I really couldn't imagine a better way. Okay, force a second blade shoot. That's perfect. Great shot here. The second dartling. Yeah, we're chilling. We're chilling. All right, I'll be able to get this um, ice shards. Perfect. In 
enhanced freeze on that. Nice. Odd shot there. Not even close. Not even close. Not even close again. We'll send him a little bit of a teaser here. Ring of Fire? Okay, that is interesting. Did not expect that. Alright, well we made them sell both farms for that. We're chilling now. Ring of Fire was definitely something I didn't expect. I thought they'd go for a Maelstrom there. Fair enough. They got the Ring of Fire tech up. My defense is pretty strong at the moment, so I, I feel like I'm chilling. To just eco. We still have two boosts as well, which is pretty pretty good to have. We still got two boosts. We definitely got a massive eco lead here. I'll probably stop ecoing pretty soon and just start saving up money. Because I expect they're going to send me Moab rushes and that type of stuff, so... We definitely got to prepare for that. We get 1k eco. A uh, thousand and one, why not? A thousand and one. I am recording, right? Okay. I played a game earlier, and it was actually a pretty good game, but I thought I was recording the entire time I was talking to myself. Turns out I wasn't. Alright, we're good against that. Should be on strong, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's see if they send me Moabs. I can get an Imbrit. That'll probably be the next investment I get in Imbrit, so I can double the damage of projectiles. We almost leaked there to AI. I got really close to leaking to AI. I was scared there. I was a little scared, not gonna lie. He sends me Moabs, I'll get up a Destroyer. They go for an Overdrive, fair enough. They don't send me anything, they'll get this uh, Favorite Trades before the round ends. The nice part is we have a massive eco lead, so the longer no rushes are sent, we're just going to be, um, we'll definitely be all producing them on the money stand at point. Looks like they're chilling. They're just gonna keep farming, alright. We'll keep boat farming then. I can fit another boat, right? I think I saw it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, perfect. Yeah, they're gonna let me be, which is perfect. Um Cause They gonna they're gonna have to pressure me this game since we win on DDTs. We win the game on DDTs. They're about to die to AI as well. Okay, he's sending me a Moab. Can I not fit this, bro? We'll boost that. We're good. Sending me another BFB. We'll both pull this. Sending me a ZOMG. Alright, we'll have to be smart here. I think I'll be good. Wait. Stall. Use that. They're dead, they're dead, they're dead. They're dead. Yes! Oh man, I almost choked that. I almost choked that, ladies and gentlemen.
I thought I could defend that. I should have just countered immediately after I saw two ZMGs. I should have just countered when I saw two ZMGs. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and feed the please like button subscribe with the support bottom. Peace out.